Uh, is this too low? Nope, that's totally not it. Um, uh, uh, all right, how are we looking? Don't know, if you back up. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, thanks for doing this. I really appreciate it. And just so you know, I'm already recording just so I have the material. Yeah, uh, that's fine. So what's the idea? Climate change, refugee crisis, income inequality, what do you got? Um, can you make sure you're looking into the camera when you talk as opposed to wherever it is you're looking? I am. No, 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 it's higher and a little bit to your left. I would suggest an unboxing. They get a lot of views. Really? Yeah. It seems a little insubstantial. A little what? I am looking at the camera. <laughs> really? Yes, it's at the top of the screen, above it. But you're not. Wait. Are you reading a script or something? No! What script would I be reading? I have no idea. It just looks very unnatural. Yeah, okay, I admit, it might feel a little superficial at first, but you have to build an audience and then you can get your message across. Whatever that might be. Uh, climate crisis, refugee crisis, income inequality. Fine, fine. What would you like to unbox? Uh -huh. I think a, a crucial theme right now is our individualistic culture, which inflames the ego but numbs the spirit. Failure teaches us who we are. Did you research this or something? Suffering upends the normal patterns of life and reminds you that you're not who you thought you were. The basement of your soul is much deeper than you know. Wait a minute, wait a minute. This is a David Brooks essay. I read this in the New York Times the other day. No, you didn't. No, it's not. And what if it is? How-tos are good, too. Any ideas? Sure. How to open a box. That's pretty silly. Says the guy with absolutely no ideas whatsoever. Uh, how to change a flat tire, how to string a banjo, how to talk to children, how to sell drugs online fast, how to make Lebna, how to make friends, how to have a happy life. Look, you asked me to do this. I'm helping you, okay? Okay, okay, you're right, I'm sorry. Cool, now, what do you want to know? Well, you know, I'm stuck. Okay, and uh, climate crisis, refugee crisis, uh, income inequality. What about, wait, the 30 year struggle between Gordon Gould and Charles H. Towns for a patent for the laser beam? Well, there's actually a good deal of evidence that the laser was, in fact, drumroll please, alien technology. You're kidding me. Come on, this is great. Just cut some archive to my voiceover and you'll see. Do it. Towns outlived him, but Gould lived long enough to feel the toll of the struggle, as well as the euphoria of the moment, working on the Manhattan Project, not the least of these. You should do something with the music here. Nice. Ironically, the same building that housed those tinkers of mass destruction, 270 Broadway, was also used after 9-11 for disaster cleanup. The building is arguably where the most 20th century alien technology was discovered, or funneled. By the late 1980s, Gould was a multi-millionaire having successfully fooled the world into believing that the laser was in fact his invention. I think it could really work. The archive you used was crap. Beauty tip scored extremely well. Hey there, I've been trying to reach you. Everything okay? Yeah, I thought that went pretty well. Good stuff. Good. Except for that scene where you're trying to hide your script. That didn't really make sense, did it? I know. Uh, you're wondering who's uh, Yeah, like who's shooting. filming that. Yeah. Yeah, I just thought it would kind of challenge traditional narrative storytelling or something. Or something? You didn't really think this through, did you? Well, um, no. But I mean, that's the whole point. That's what this whole thing is all about. But you can't just be weird for the sake of being weird. You want to make a film? This is how you make a film. Okay?
come up with a unique concept for the film. Make the concept feel exaggerated or bigger than real life. Take an ordinary thing in real life and make it strange. For example, maybe you use a childhood memory of going to the dentist as inspiration. Where the dentist is actually a serial killer with a drill. You can also try taking a familiar film concept, such as someone finding a dead body on the beach, and make it strange. For example, maybe the person finds a dead alien on the beach. But remind me, why do you want to make a film? Uh, good question. It's not as if you have anything urgent to say, is it? No, not really. Or followers, an audience waiting to hear from you? Nope. And you have enough paid work? Yes. It seems pretty clear to me. I don't know if you really care about your subject. No matter how obscure it is, and you make people part of the quest, then you'll always have an audience. Or what? Uh, you could put on a German accent and become Werner Herzog. <laughs> right. Go on, try it. Just point your phone to the road and I'll be Werner. For a fleeting moment, I let myself take a long, hard look at myself to see whether my vision has not destroyed me already. I found it comforting to note that I was still breathing. My belief is that all these dreams are yours as well. The only distinction between me and you is that I can articulate them. And that is what poetry or painting or literature or filmmaking is all about. This might be the inner chronicle of what we are. We have to articulate ourselves, otherwise we would be cows in the field. <laughs>